Let's consider this problem. Paul and Catherine are considering the following problem. Find the number of routes from A to B if paths must always move closer to B. So that means that if you're here, you either have to go down or to the right. So from A to B, Catherine's method was to use permutations with repetitions to get 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial in the denominator, which equals 10. Let's just review that quickly. So we have, well, if we have three blocks that they have to go right, so it's R, 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 and two blocks that have to go down, so that's, we'll just say D and D. Well, this is equivalent, really, to a, a question asking, let's arrange these five letters with a re repeated letter of R three times and a repeated D two times. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five letters. And then with these three R's being repeated and those two D's being repeated. Okay, so that's 10 roots. All right, well, what if we use a method involving Pascal's triangle? So let's develop the method here. So we have this rectangle here, which really is just this rectangle rotated um, on an angle. So you can see that looks like a rectangle that we have beginning. But well, we're just going to look at, look at it so that it kind of looks like a triangle. So we can extend this this way, and it might keep going like so. All right. Well, how many paths are there from A to D? Well, there's one, right? And from A to C, there's one. And to get to F, we can either go this way, once this way, or this path. So we can see that F is two. If we continue that, to get to G, there's only one way to get to G. But I here, there's one, two, and three ways to get to I. And H, well, let's take a look at E. There's only one way to get to E. But if we were to get to H, we could go this way, this way, or this way. There's actually three. Let's take a look at, we'll fill in this diagram here. So we'll see we have one, and this is two, and this is one, and this is three, this is one, and this is three. Well, let's take a look at these questions. How does F compare to C and D? Well, we take a look, F here, which is two compared to C and D, well, that's just this path plus this one, one plus one being two. Well, what about H compared to E and F? Well, H here is three, which can be obtained from one plus two. So here we have this paths to C plus the paths to D, is equal to the paths to F, and H is equal to the paths to E plus the paths to F. And again, in the same way, I, which is three, is equal to the paths to F plus the paths to G. So I here is equal to F plus G. Now take a look, if we look at I, what feeds into I is everything from G plus everything from F. So that makes a lot of sense. So let's use that relationship then to fill in the rest of this diagram. So this point here is one because there's only one feeding in this way. And this point is three plus one, so that's four. This one is six from three plus three, so that's six because it feeds three this way and feeds three that way. And finally, to get to this point, there's four that feeds in from this side and six that feed in from this side. This is a total of 10. So we can see then we have this original rectangle here from A, A to B. And we turn it on its side, we can see how it relates to Pascal's triangle. If you remember Pascal's triangle is one, then one, two, one, or sorry, one, then one, one, then one, two, one, then one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one. 
and we can see it lines up with nodes here on the Pascal's triangle. If we see it in the combination format, we can see that's the same thing, and we find out this is 5 choose 3. Well, what is 5 choose 3? Well, it is equal to 10, but how can we see it in the formula? Well, we have 5 factorial in the choose formula. It's 5 minus 3 factorial, right? And over, sorry, 3 factorial. So we have 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial, which is equal to 10. This is 5 factorial over 2 factorial, 3 factorial, which is 10. As shown in the second diagram, the answer 10 is equivalent to 5 choose 3, which can be written in factorial notation as 5 factorial over 2 factorial, 3 factorial. And this is the same as the formula for permutations with repetitions. Class example 2, a supervisor of a city bus department is determining how many routes there are from the bus station here to the concert hall. And it looks like there's certain paths they must make a stop at this point here. So let's, let's label that C, I guess. And so we're going to use Pascal's triangle to find the number of pathways. So right at this node in this intersection, that's, it's one. This is also one. This is also one. And all along this way, there's one path leading all the way down here. It, it, at this point, it feeds from above one and from the left one. So that's one plus one, which is two. This one feeds two from the left and one from the top. So that's three and one from the top and three from the left. So that makes four. And the same thing here is one from the left here, two down is three, then four and five. Now noticing this node, we can say this is six, then six plus four, this node will be 10. This six plus four is also 10 and we have 20 here and 10 plus 5 is 15, and right at C, we'll have 20 plus 15, which is 35. Now when it feeds into this point, there's nothing that comes in from the top, but from the left, it's also 35. So 35 plus 0 is 35, and there's 35, I guess, at this corner here. But this could round as well. It could come around, and it feeds in this way. So this one point is also 35. This point is also 35. And we see this part here is 70. And then 70 plus 35 is 105 at this point. This point, 70 from the top and 35 from the left, is 105. And finally, to the concert hall is 105 plus 105, which is 210. So from Pascal's triangle, we have 210 ways. Well, let's use permutations. Now, this is a very nice setup because we have this one point and it goes through this point, then connects to the concert hall. So we can treat this rectangle as one, and then multiply it by the number of ways from this point C to the concert hall. So we have the bus station to C, the pathways, and then multiply that by the number of ways from C to the concert hall. Well, let's see. From the bus station to C, looks like we go right three times. So there's right, right, right. And then down one, two, three, four times. So there's down, 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 and down. So a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven events that must be accomplished. And then there is a repetition of three and a repetition of four. So this is seven factorial or 3 factorial, 4 factorial. That's just from the bus to C. Now the number of pathways from C to the concert hall will be, it looks like we have two rights and two downs for a total of four. So this is 4 factorial or 2 factorial, 2 factorial. The 2 factorial for the repetition of 2Rs and this 2 for the repetition of 2Ds. When we get this, this first one, 7 factorial or 3 factorial, 4 factorial is 70, and then multiplied by 3, and we get 210 ways. 
So you can see these, in this particular case, when we have these nice nodes here, uh, we had the same number of ways. Let's take a look at class example number three. We have a taxi company trying to find the quickest route from the train station to the football stadium, but there's a corner here that's missing and a corner here that is missing. Let's use Pascal's triangle to find the quickest route. So we have this is one, this node is one, this is one, and one, 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 one down this way. This is two, one plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus one is four. And down this way, we have two plus one is three, four, and then five. So continuing along to the node, this node is six, this node will be 10, this node will be 10, this node will be 15, this node will be 20, 10 from the top, 10 from the side, and this node will be 35. Down this, this particular node, there's nothing that comes in from the left. So only the 15 now, so that's 15. This point here, there's nothing coming in from the top, but four from the left, so that's four. We have 14. This is now 34. This point here is 69. And 35 plus 15 is 50. And 50 plus 69 is 119. So using Pascal's ways, we have 119 ways. Now let's explain why permutations with the repetitions formula, this 9 factorial over 4 factorial, 5 factorial, cannot be used to determine the answer to the problem. Well, let's take a look. If we were thinking of 9 factorial, we might think 1, 2, 3. We can go right 4 times, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. And then down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And we might start this like this. However, you can see right in this spot, there is missing some nodes. So that this right cannot happen. These rights cannot happen here. And there's a right missing this way. And there's a couple of downs here. But they have to happen after two rights. So this formula cannot be used to determine the answer to this problem we would have to find these specific points that pass through and then add them all together. But using this formula for this particular problem, we can't get, get it directly. Okay, you're ready for your assignment, and I will see you in class.